Hi and uh, welcome to a tutorial for Hoi Free Pos Ed, most likely standing for uh, Position Editor, which is a map editor for the game. I will uh, leave a download link in the description because everyone should be using it. It isn't perfect and it hasn't been updated for six years perhaps but uh, it's good let's go uh, full screen so I'm making this uh, tutorial in less than three minutes so let's hurry up here's how it looks like you can select the province by uh, clicking on it press F9 to bring up the province details which you can uh, edit things about this uh, particular province that you have selected but this only works if you're using one province because it's only, uh, only showing what's, uh, what one province contains so if you have more than one province selected you should not be using this because it won't work so you can uh, change directly here if it's only one province you have selected uh, add, delete things, change things yeah but if you want uh, well let's go to, to this list which you have everything or a, at least a lot of things that you can change so let's say let's take owner I can just change it over here but uh, let's uh, select a couple of provinces like uh, D3 press F9 now I can't edit this because this is only one province probably the last one selected so you're not changing this one directly if you have more than one province selected but what you do is that uh, you go to the one you want to change in the list like uh, owner for example then you enter what you want to change so it's currently year, the tag year for Germany, it's a German province but let's make those three provinces French change them to the French tag FRA Le then press set and this will go down here scroll it up and you will see that uh, the owner has changed to France and this has happened to all three of the province but you can only see one here if you can click on all of them you will see that it has changed but for order to in order to save this you if you only have one province edited you click uh, save text and you need to click this one if you only have one province selected if you have more than one province selected you need to click on this button instead but before you exit the editor it will remind you that you have the provinces uh, not saved so press to save there in case you have forgotten to save any provinces but it's best to save them to begin with another example is uh, points let's add some victory points let's uh, I got Brandenburg selected so let's add 10 victory points to that province and you will see that 10 has been added it's add uh, automatically points and the number you have selected so you don't have to do it manually and it does this to every province you have selected so let's uh, take another couple of provinces these three you will see that uh, you can see the number of provinces you have selected and the total value of the thing you have selected for example if you go to infrastructure you will s see that these provinces have a total combined value infrastructure value of 30 because they have all three have 10 each but if you go to points none of them will have any points but if you add let's say five points 
then five points will be added to each of the province selected, making it a total of 15. So this is really useful, because let's uh, do some selections. Let's take, uh, let's unselect those and select Berlin instead. Then press the R key to select a region. Now we've got the Berlin region here. Yeah. And uh, let's look at province details, and you can see the total of something in the entire region while you have it selected. And then you can just go ahead and press R on other regions as well to select a lot of them. Instead of going to the files one province by province, you can select an entire part of the country in just a few, few key presses. Or if you want to change the entire country, you can just deselect and press the T key. It may take a while to load, but then you select the entire country and uh, can, you can see that Germany has 263 provinces, a total of 555 energy. So in case you want to have a blank map and just redo an entire country, you can just go through these and uh, set every province to zero and redo everything from the start. And then you can go through the province one by one adding the amount you want. Another example is that uh, in game often uh, buildings are limited to 10 as in you can only build 10 industry in a province but this is not the case in the editor you can just or in the files for that matter you can add 50 as much as five provinces in just one province or an amount you want really well there's probably a point that it will crash but yeah it's possible and uh, a thing I usually use yeah so uh, yeah that's basically it not difficult just a lot of clicking but a lot of less clicking than doing doing it directly in the files as I as I was doing a year ago there is some bugs and on certain provinces to, uh, that you have to fix manually but uh, yeah it isn't hard but it can require a bit of clicking but yeah anyone should be able to do this that's it thanks for watching I hope you have will have some use of this.